Episode 2. In this video, I'm 3D printing a tow hitch cover with a secret key compartment. For all those times that you leave your keys inside your car and then you have to call a locksmith, say no more. This one is going to be a very interesting one, so let's go. Well, guys, so I just opened up the Creality Print. So this is the version that I'm running, which is 5.1.6 5 point whatever that crap is. So. Creality is asking me if I want to update it to the latest version. I'm going to skip this because my version is working just fine for me for doing a multicolor print manually. So I'm going to hit skip. So my last print was three colors. So right now I do, I do not need three colors on this print. So what I'm going to do is just delete one color. So now I only have two colors. So I'm going to pull up my file, which is this one here, body cover. I just dropped it. So as you guys can see, it's just one solid piece, but when you go to paint, I did embed a Jeep logo underneath. So now I'm going to use the fill tool and then using the second color. See, look, it kind of like identify where is the different colors. And I think I'm really happy with this in Creality where it has a really good detection. Look at that. So, oops. So that's pretty much that. So pretty much just fill this thing up. Oh. oh yeah guys, to undo I just did control Z. So I think that's universal everywhere. Control Z is undo. Well, let me slice it and let's see how it looks sliced. Oh, actually they, they did a good job filling in the gaps. So as you guys can see, they filled in the gaps pretty nice. This is the slice file, guys. So you guys can see. This is how it's going to go. So it's going to be two colors on the same layer for... Oh, look at that. One, two. So yeah, it's going to do a, a couple of um, color swaps. Uh, let me see if it says how many tool changes here. The one in... So the Orca slicers, you can see how many tool changes you need to do. So I'm trying to see if this thing has it as well. So the height is correct. Yeah, from what I see, it's going to be three to four filament change. Um, there is one thing that I haven't tried yet. So this is what I would do normally and then I would just hit print. Actually, I wouldn't hit print. I would hit this thing on the side and then export plate. Um, but I noticed that I have a brim around that. So I'm actually going to get rid of this brim. Let me see what else what I want to do. Do you want to... Yeah, let's, uh, you know what? Let's do a perch tower. So that's another thing that you guys been doing you guys been doing perch towers and I haven't been doing perch towers I was just like extrude a certain amount and then the only difference is just print. gonna be a perch tower so a lot of you guys are doing this perch I am not gonna be doing a manual purge before I used to purge like 200 millimeters and it became very wasteful like I was wasting too much filament so by letting the printer do their own purge they all I have to do is pretty much just change the filament so all I gotta do is pull the filament and then put in the new filament and press resume so technically this is a lot easier than I, the way that I've been doing it before and it actually turned out really well so I'm really happy with the results and I'm gonna show you guys how that process goes
so this is the part where I just swap the filament and then I am just gonna hit um, resume print so it's supposed to do a perch tower it's supposed to perch itself the color and it's supposed to co continue printing without me messing around with the um, extruding before I used to extrude 50 to 150 to 200 millimeters of filament which became very wasteful and especially if you do multiple colors more than two colors sometimes you have to perch many times in one print so that became really really wasteful and not efficient and the point of 3d printing is to have the printer do all the work itself or mainly most of the work while you sit back and just chill So this is why I enjoy 3D printing. You can do cool stuff like this, like a hidden key on a tow hitch cover, just in case if you leave your keys locked inside your car, or if you lose your keys, you have a spare key to back you and get you home. <laughs> 